Thank you for joining us. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please do. The moment he died, people started connecting his Kanika Jenkins coverage to his death. The Kanika Jenkins coverage that Zach did, I'll let you look into that on your own. Zach TV1, Z-A-C-K TV1. I'm not going to get into all that in this series. But as soon as he died, everybody started connecting the two. Oh, he got too close because Zach felt like he solved the Kanika Jenkins case through his information, the, the, the information that he was going through. He said he was, you know, OCD about it. He was on the airplane thinking about it. He was in the hotel thinking about it, and he had figured something out. The moment I heard this, I was like, stop it. This is Chicago. We don't need a big conspiracy for a man to end up dead. But the irresponsible internet decided it was going to go through all their theories, all their opinions, all of their imaginations, reimaginings, and all of this, and they were going to make it fact. And they were going to put out videos titled The Video That Kills Zach TV. Stop it. Stop it. So I don't even want to see this video. Another reason that they were connecting the Kanika Jenkins uh, case to Zach's death is because he was getting anonymous phone calls from people. Now, these anonymous phone calls, some threatening, some warning. There's no lack of conspiracy theorists sitting at the crib, bored out their mind, looking to troll somebody or looking to feel like they did something by having these conversations or the legitimate threats, the legitimate warning. Me, I don't buy everything. I'm not going to sit here and say that I believe that these were legitimate threats on Zach. I'm not going to sit here and say that I believe that these people weren't just yahoos that was just getting on the phone trolling. I will say this. It was Zach's business as a content creator that was already ahead of his time. And as a human being, it was his business to entertain the idea either way and to make sure he archived it and put it on tape for everybody to see. Why? Because if they are just a bunch of jokers acting goofy on the phone, strumming up conspiracy theories it's entertainment it's good content right and if they were real threats and real warnings it's also a good thing to have on tape and a good thing to listen to so zach did both do i believe that he bought all of it i don't think he bought it all a lot of people say oh he was scared and he stopped doing this stuff doing that. i don't know i don't think he bought all of it i think he he probably bought some of it but he didn't buy all of that i think he thought some of it was trolls and, and, and goofies acting a fool anyway now there's a site on mike's um, what is his name, Mike? First up, who, I'm saying, who is Mike? Where you get Mike from? Um, he is the one, he is the one that, hold on. Now, how many ladies and how many gentlemen ain't sitting at their crib doing nothing? And they're just like, oh, I'm going to delve into this. Oh, look what I found. And it's, you ain't find nothing. You're looking for things. You're going to agree with yourself that the things that you find are pertinent information when they're not. But again, Zach had to entertain it for his own safety and for the sake of the content. Social media didn't up America, if up the world in general. He don't even know how true what he's saying is right now. And be like, yeah, show the gangster. There ain't no motherfucking gangster. Gangster when you can wake up and go buy your sister a brand new car. Being gangsters when you can wake up and go pay your mother for mama rent without bitching. Being gangsters when you can take your nieces, nephews, and badass little cousins shopping. Tell her ass, man, stay in school. I'm gonna make sure y'all the flash month in that bitch. That's what gangster is. You feel me? Taking trips, living life, doing shit other niggas can't. That's what gangster is. Putting other niggas in a bad situation in a better predicament. I don't know what the f you think gangster is, bro. Gangsta is the new rich for me, man. So, it's about money. I'm trying to be the biggest gangster of them all. There you have it. A testimony from himself about his own mindset. Smoked for nothing. Ego. Bullshit. Club. Chicago. You and Zach TV, you guys did a few interviews together, right? Yeah. R.P. Zach. I felt like it was crazy. And whoever did this sh was some bitch ass. You feel me? Because Zach ain't did sh to nobody. So whoever did that to Zach was hating on Zach. I ain't never heard of Zach to do no f up shit to nobody. There's no reason in this world you should even want to do sh to Zach. Like Zach interviewed everybody, every hood. I just feel like why would you want to do that to Zach? And once again, whoever did it, I just feel like they some bitch ass. The question is, did them dudes know who Zach was? If they didn't, they treated him like they would treat anyone else, which is why it's kind of, it's strange for somebody like Duck who knows Zach personally and knows his character. Zach was a cool ass nigga, man. He pulling up to your shit. Zach ain't trying to hit that shit. I feel like he is legendary as hell. He pulling up to any environment. Like, he ain't giving no Like, he ain't got, 
Just a cool ass motherfucker who wanted to put the city on. That's all he was. Dudes that spent their days trying to destroy each other and take each other's lives respected him and let him in their hood. That's just a testament to his character. Now, there was a dude from Texas. I don't even want to say his name. He sounded like he was just spinning web. Had a theory that Duck paid to have T-Streets killed, but I'm not buying that. This is the CBS Chicago News report on Zach TV's murder. A popular YouTube personality is gunned down while driving through Chicago's Printers Row neighborhood. He's identified as Zach Stoner, known on YouTube as Zach TV One. Around one in the morning, police say a gunman in another car pulled up alongside Stoner's vehicle near Clark and Polk Streets. Multiple shots were fired. Stone was hit at least once in the head, then lost control of his vehicle, crashing into a light pole. A witness several stories up posted this Twitter video moments after the crash. It appears to show a group of people at the scene getting into another vehicle, then driving off. Now, this footage was the only footage that we got of this entire incident. And this footage went around and created a lot of rumor. And, uh, and it pushed a lot of narratives that, that shouldn't probably have existed or should have been thought out a little bit more. And the days following this passing, like immediately following this passing, the rumors, the, the scenarios, the creativity and the imaginations of a whole bunch of YouTubers started putting together a collective of information that was just them running with what they thought. As the old adage goes, what you thought. Curtis hit me up early this morning. I'm at work. He hit me up with the information like what Zach did. Like, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, what are we doing? Yeah, so y'all know I had to touch on this. So let me start off by saying this. What was that whole acting that she just did? Wait a minute, what are we doing? I didn't know who the Zach was until the Kanika Jenkins case. I didn't have a clue who he was, okay? And I feel like motherfucker put the fire up under him because he, he was able to get that interview with Irene, Peace, and Killer. Okay, now I never addressed Zach over here on this channel because I felt like Zach didn't have to do with what happened to Kanika. When this post came out in the beginning, and for those those of y'all who who've uh, who's been following this case from the beginning, this when this post came out, if I'm not mistaken, this was not the the entire post. In the post that I remember reading, Zach was quoting, and and I want to say it was John, somebody named John. I believe, but he was quoting him, and he's he was basically saying that this John guy was saying that he was in the hotel room that night. We got to be careful, too. When you're doing something like what Zach was doing, before you make a post like that, when you're quoting somebody that was in the room, you got to make it clear in your tweet or your Instagram post to the rest of these dummies out here that this is a quote from somebody else. This isn't me. Zach put out this quote, which was supposedly a quote from somebody that was in the room that Kanika Jenkins was partying in, but... Of course, a bunch of quick to run with it dummies on the internet ran with this and said, look, see, Zach was in the room. Zach was there with Kanika Jenkins. He knows what went down. You're letting people run away with their imagination. Dummies do it all the time. You know them. Some of them are your children. It's a flaw. So we got to be careful to say, hey, man, this is a quote from somebody that claims they were in the room. Boom, put that out. Otherwise, the dummies are going to run with, oh, Look, Zach TV just admitted he was in the room. Zach TV just admitted he was there. He knows what's going on. And a dummy gonna run with it. A dummy's not gonna acknowledge the fact that it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? They ran with it. We started seeing shit like this. Yeah, now. See, this is what I'm talking about. Clear as day, those are two different people. Similarities, yes. But clear as day, two different people. There's a dummy out there that'll just say, Nah, bro, look, that's him. Nah, that's him, bro. That's him. Nah, y'all tweaking. Y'all tripping. That's him. No, you wrong. You just want us to agree with you. You want to feel like you know something. You want to feel smart. You want to feel like you cracked the case, right? Then when it's proven that that's so-and-so and that's a different, total different person and that information is brought to you, you got nothing to say. You got no apologies. You back up into the bush. That's whole shit. And it happens all the time in this city. One dummy trying to convince another dummy. All the time. Happens all the time. People die over it all the time. Well, they like, oh yeah, he was at the party. He look like Hollywood, <laughs> and he does, real sh it, he does, but I feel like we went straight down a fucking rabbit hole with that whole Zach, I didn't go, but I seen people going down a rabbit hole, then remember that she didn't go, with the Jack, she didn't go down that rabbit hole, she wasn't buying that rabbit hole, but she bought another one, again, they also say that this image is Zach at the hotel the day Kanika Jenkins died, remember this right here with the jacket, 
they like, oh yeah, he was in a hotel. Dude got on the same jacket. Like, damn, like, was, I mean, was he the only one, you know, was he the only with that kind of jacket? Was it a customized jacket? Yes. Because people reacted as if his name was written on the back of that month. I'm like, just because he got on the same jacket as another don't mean he was there. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, it was fucked up. But needless to say, I didn't go that route. That's why I didn't address him over here on this channel. But I'm addressing today because what just happened to him, you know, him being killed in the streets of Chicago, is fucked up. And it's fucked up on so many levels. So, like I said, I didn't know who he was until I started following the, um, until I was on the Kanika Jenkins case. And I found out that, you know, he, he, he was making money moves. He, he was that in the hood making, making money moves. You know, he making videos, he interviewing gangs and shit. He out there. He in the trenches. You understand what I'm saying? And you had to understand his position to, uh, Realize what type of guy he was. And then this is how they do him? This this, this how they doing? What you mean this? This is how they do him? Are you even watching? Now we're going to see him make up a whole bunch of shit here. This video right here is what's going to get these filmed up. And this shit right here is not edited. <laughs> it ain't edited. It ain't edited. You know what that means? She's trying to say it ain't edited. This is the real footage. I got it first. It's right here. We early with it. That's all she cared about. That's all she wanted. She wanted those views and those likes. She's like, they're going to get caught up over this, right? So what happens is she made such a foul decision and such a foul call early that she'd have looked stupid if she changed her mind two videos after this. She had to sit there and she had to make her mistake right. Damn, that wasn't the dudes that shot him out there. I got to keep saying that it was or I'm going to look stupid because we rather look like liars than look stupid. That's how they left him. Now, I don't know if whatever happened to him had something to do with Kanika or if it had something to do with some gang shit, some music shit, something. We don't know. But I feel like he shouldn't have lost his life that way. You know, and I sh well, no sh showed y'all his, his, I believe it was his Twitter account, Twitter or Facebook, one of them. Um, but this had almost 200,000 followers. Imagine that. So y'all know what kind of shit he was on. He was a boss where 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 he he was from. He he was a notch above the average out there. He was doing shit that those couldn't do and still will not be able to do even though he's gone. You understand what I mean? He was making money. No, nobody understands what you mean. You talking gibberish. You talking gibberish. You looking for connections that ain't there. You 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 don't have a story here. You just saying, oh, you see, I, you see what he was on, two hundred thousand followers. He was a boss. Nobody else could do that. Okay, a hater killed him. At the end of the day, we find out it wasn't even that. Moves, man. Listen, and I, like I said, I never addressed him over here on this channel in none of my videos. Go back and check. You won't find not a one. Because I felt like he didn't have to do with it. Now I know there's people who believe that he did, and I ain't tripping. I respect it. I respect that. But I'm one who does not believe that. And I haven't seen anything to sway my opinion about it. You know, I, I, I haven't. And this is how he ended his life. All because he was mad they couldn't do what he did. How do you know that? It's been 24 hours. You already figured it out? It was a hater that killed Zach? Why? Because Zach was living on his own terms? Making his own money? That's enough for you to solve the case? What if he was doing worse? Like, I don't even understand. You get up on here and you say things. It was your first thought. You say these opinions and you want them to be facts. They're not facts. Zach was doing his thing. You know how that goes. They hated on him. Nah, that's a canned statement. It's in a can. It's generic. It's the first thing that come to your mind. The first thing 90% of people will say. And not the brightest and best of us either. Zach got after him trying to kill him because he beating down the guts of their girlfriends and getting from girls he don't even know. That's it? That's the case? See? Those kind of things. Out here just mad because he was out here getting his motherfucking money and that pussy and the fame came with it. Don't be mad at him. You understand what I mean? This nigga been lost his life. And yeah, I tell you, I, I will tell you this though. We gonna keep up with that shit over here on this channel. Because oh, yeah? I want to know why they did him like that. So, mm. I'm gonna let y'all go. Rest in peace, Zach. 
Wait. No, you're going to create a narrative of why they did him like that. You just did. You just created a narrative that some haters did it. Because Zach was getting it on his own. And they was mad. That's just too easy, man. Stay your ass off the computer. Get up off the microphone. Stop talking about real life. Go talk about TV shows. You know what I'm saying? Go go, go talk about power. Bullshit. Thank you for joining us. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please do. Peace.